Hi beautifuls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Finn, I post content twice a week. In today's video, we've got such an exciting video. So, if you have my last video, you'll know that we looked at the W7 Mystery Box. I'll link it up here if you haven't come from that video. So, you'll know that in today's video, I have posted on my Instagram what you wanted to see today. Did you want to see a full face using the makeup? Did you want to see just the eyeshadow dupe? You guys picked the eyeshadow dupe, so that is what we're looking at today. So, the eyeshadow palette that we've got today is the W7 Blazing Palette, which looks just like this. It looks so pretty. And this retails for, I think, £8.99, although if you go to places like The Range, B&M, a lot cheaper. Probably about fiver. Now, you might be thinking, Finn, looks like a regular eyeshadow palette. Looks a little bit boring, you know, like, spice it up a little bit. Honeys. This is an exact dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, which retails for a lot more money than £8.99. I've already got my base on, everything is done, um, my eyebrows, my base, my lips. I might change the lip colour after this, just why not, just in case I don't like it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a look. So. Without further ado, if that's something that interests you, then please keep on watching. Right, straight off the bat, metal tin, great. The Urban Decay one's plastic, I much prefer a metal tin. Also, not just because like it feels nicer, it's more recyclable. Then you have all of the shade names on the back and on the inside. So really quickly, I'm gonna pop a picture here of the Urban Decay one, seriously. Take a look, take it in, breathe it in, look at those colours, that, that colour scheme, look at it. Hey, <laughs> what? So this is like £50, I'll pop the uh, RRP here somewhere. Eight ninety nine, guys, what? It does also come with a brush, I probably won't be using that today, maybe, but you know, probably not. Right, I've never actually used this before, this is a new product, I wasn't going to use it today, I was going to do this in another video, but I'm going to be going in with the W7 I Got The Power All Day Wear Eyeshadow Base Primer. And the only negative I've got so far about the Blazing Palette is there is no mirror. So I'm gonna have to go in with another one of their palettes to use the mirror. <laughs> Right, I'm ready to begin. I don't really know what kind of eye look I want to go with today. It's obviously going to be a neutral look. So I'm going to be taking the lightest shade, which is the shade White Hot. And I'm going to pop that all over my crease just to sort of use it as a bit of a base shade. There's a tiny bit of kickback in the pan, but it's nothing bad. To be honest, I don't care about kickback. I care about fallout. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is the, hang on, what shade is this? The Hot Sauce, which is this nice red colour. I'm going to be popping that in my crease and then I'm going to blend that up and out with the brown up here and see what sort of look that gives me. A lot of kickback, but wow. I mean, these are just eyeshadows, they're not pressed pigments. So I'm actually quite impressed with that. Right, now I'm going to blend it up and out with that other colour. I'm going to go in with a smaller detailer brush and I'm going to go in with the darker brown and pop that in my outer corner. I'm also going to mix that with the dark burgundy colour. I think they'll look really pretty together. So we're going in with these two and just giving them a bit of a mix. Okay, that is not working with a detailer brush and I've now got fallout. Let's try a different brush. I found a shade that I don't like. I don't like this dark brown one. It's just not depositing very well. Mm, not a fan of that one. Look at all that fallout. See, that's just... Yeah, not. Mm. It's deepened up a little bit, but not like. Oh, actually, on camera, that looks better. In real life, it doesn't. 
Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna cut that really quickly, and then we're gonna go in with a glitter. Fingers crossed. Be right back. Right guys, I have cut that really, really um untidily. It doesn't matter because we're gonna be going over with a glitter shade or a shimmer shade. Let's just see how these shimmers swatch. So this is number one. Oh, bloody hell. I was not expecting that. I was really, really not expecting that. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's so stunning. Oh my God. Hey, what? W7 are amazing with their shimmers. Look at that. Now I don't know which one to go for. Should we try this sponge thing? Oh my God. Yeah, that didn't work. I don't like that dark brown. I don't like it. I finally found a use for these sponge things though. That's good because they're pretty much pointless. I've had to actually blow out my candles because my lighting is so bad today that I'm not in focus. I'm now going to take a detailer brush. I'm going to go in with one of the red bricky shades. Probably going to go in with the shade. Let's try something new. So the end one is Muy Calante. So very hot. And I'm going to go on my lower lash line and blend that out using the shade Volcano, which is like a lighter brown. We're going to be taking this one, putting that on my lower lash line and blending it out with one of these. I'd be happy to go out like that. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to do this eye, put some mascara on, maybe put some lashes on, I'm not too sure yet, and then I'll get back to you with my final look. And then I will get back to you guys with my final thoughts and the final look. I'll see you in a minute. Right guys, this is the final look using the W7 Blazing Palette. So we've gone for a brownie, brick-toned kind of crease colour, blended it up and out, a dark lower lash line and a brick uh, red glitzy foil, I guess, over the lid. I love it. I'm really, really, really happy with this eye look. Um, let's talk cons first, just because, you know, shit sandwich. So I really, really don't like this brown colour. It did not go on. Actually, let's swatch it just to see whether it is just because it looks so chalky. Um, yeah, it even swatches chalky. I don't like that colour. That's not great. Like, I don't really like the fact it hasn't got a mirror, but you know what? It is not the end of the world. And other than that, it's a really, really good palette for eight ninety nine. This was £9. £9, darling. Um... Onto the positives, again, it was only £9. It is a really, really good dupe for the Urban Decay one. I haven't got the Urban Decay one to actually show you guys the comparison because I'm not going to spend £40 to £50 pounds on an eyeshadow palette. It's not going to happen. But it's a good neutrals palette. It's a really, really good warm tone red neutrals palette, I guess. So that's just like kind of what it is. It is what it is. It does what it does. I really like this. The foils, let's ignore this horrible one here. What is that? But these foils are insane. How pretty are they? I used this one on my lid today. I am super, super happy with this look. I literally have nothing else left to say. I'm so happy with this. I'm so, so glad that I got this. Oh, one more negative. It's got a tiny bit of kickback and a tiny bit of fallout. Oh, if I'm going to use this again, I'm probably going to do my base second just because <sighs> dust. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of today's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know down below what shade was your favourite. And if you liked the end look, if you didn't, also let me know. Like, I'd really, really appreciate your comments. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, hit them up down below. Hit them up. Post them down below as well. I am learning. I don't train for this. I just learn from YouTube mainly. And I would love to get better. So let me know down below if you have any tips or tricks. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this YouTube video. I really, really hope you have a fantastic day, evening or weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I really, really hope that I get to see you guys again in the next video. Until then, love you, bye.